Hi everybody, this is Oksana and today I'm going to show you how to make this simple, great for beginners, little pendant that uses a coin bead. And I make a lot of cabochon videos, but I'm going to try and make some more bead videos, especially beginner ones like this, because um, I think that that's a great way to get started. It's a little easier to work with a bead than it is with a cabochon. And this is a double-sided pendant as well, so if you want to see how to make this, and just keep watching. So I have a round coin bead that is about 20 millimeters. And then I have 20 gauge round dead soft copper wire. That is 18 inches, and this is probably a little bit too long, but I wanted to have some extra. So if you feel like you want to add on to this and make it, you know, something different, you have that um, flexibility. So I put the bead on the wire, I'm kind of folding the wire in half, and I'm moving the bead down. I know it's kind of hard to see. I'll try to zoom out to the middle. So once your bead is in the middle, go ahead and bend the ends like this, the edges I mean, up and then here at the top this little X that is formed, make sure that it's nice and centered, it's not like to the side or something and once you have it there nice and centered just go ahead and twist And then once you do that, you just take one side and you fold it down to roughly right here. And then the tricky part is getting the sides to match because it forms like a little heart. You don't want the heart to be crooked or lopsided. So once you get it to right underneath where this wire is going through the hole, go ahead and bend it forward. Make sure your heart is looking symmetrical. And then here on the other side, go ahead and bring that wire up right to the edge of the heart and bend it forward. And same with this, bringing it up to that little edge, bending it forward. So here you can see the little X that got formed is a little bit crooked, so you can kind of play around with that. Try to get it to be um, a little more even. And what you want to do now, flipping it back to where your wires are coming out, is this wire here. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to trim it. But leave yourself just like a little end. because. We're basically gonna like make a little loop and it's gonna close. So this is how much extra I ended up having on one side anyways. So if this has popped up like for me, just put it back down. And now what you wanna do, so this wire is coming this way, it's going around and you wanna tuck it under this wire here. So not just so it's going around this, but so it's going around both. Hopefully you can see that. And then here, see the little end of it sticking out right there? We're basically gonna close that. It's like, think of it as a little loop that we're gonna close that loops around and it connects the wire. So once you do that one, we'll fix this. I know it's a little crooked looking. So now you can do the next one. And it's just the same thing. Go ahead and give it a trim.
And here's the little end coming through and close up that little loop. Now you can hammer this top part, this little heart, to make it a little stronger if you happen to have a hammer. If not, you can leave it as is, that's totally fine. This kind of slipped above, so I'm just gonna put it back down. So what I'm gonna do now, this is the back and this is the front, but as you can see, it can be pretty much double-sided. What I'm gonna do now here on the back is I'm gonna grab this wire and I'm gonna put a bend into it like this. And I'm gonna do this on this side as well. And that will help it from kind of riding up. So now we have side one and side two. And the way in which you would wear this is you would take your chain or your cord, you would put it through one half of the heart and then put it through the other half like this. So this is how it is worn. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.